Hey, how's it going everyone? I just wanted to share with you a keyboard that I have with me today. Now this is a very special keyboard. I wanted to make a video about this because I saw that there were no videos on this keyboard online. Well, at least on YouTube. Um, there's some documentation online. Well, actually, it's a pretty popular keyboard on keyboard forums, but on YouTube, this is uh, going to be the first video about this. So. This doesn't have original keycaps, uh, this is the Cherry G80 5000. It's special because, one, it was the first keyboard to feature the Cherry MX Browns, and two, it was one of the only Cherry uh, ergonomic keyboards that were made at the time. This is a vintage keyboard, made in the 90s, and it splits apart like that, which is pretty cool. So this is what it sounds like. I have uh, the Dolch key keycaps on it with some uh, black on white, no white on black, sorry. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. Uh, but anyways, this is a version that features the Cherry MX Super Blacks, which is very heavy. This is the first time I've tried these switches because they're kind of rare. So uh, yeah, it was pretty cool to try them out. Now, this keyboard, um, it is made of plastic only, but this shouldn't really be an issue because, as you can tell, it's lasted about 20 years by now. And so it's proven it the test of time, which is good. So if you flip over the back, sorry, I'm going to close this up first. Uh, oh my god, I can't do this with one hand. I flip it over, you can see... And there's a bit of dirt on it, but that's okay. You can see the model number, G80-5000. Sorry, oh my god. Zoom in closer to that. Yeah. And you can see the model number over there. And you can see the system that they use to split the keyboard apart. It's just this uh, flexible plastic thing, so it lets you, like, bend the keyboard a little bit which makes it a little bit more more ergonomic, so you can use it to lift up the feet and uh, have a contoured shape, which is nice. Not really contoured, but an angled, yeah. Uh, angled typing experience. And ingrained in the plastic, engraved in the plastic, rather, is some directions on how to use the keyboard. So yeah, there's uh, plenty of feet on the back, so you can uh, see which angle fits you the best. I actually kind of like this because very few keyboards have feet on the bottom. Now I believe that feet on the bottom is actually a very ergonomic way of typing. It's uh, called negative something. I don't want to say the wrong word, but uh, negative slope or something. And this is uh, apparently more ergonomic than uh, just having your keyboard like flat or having the feet on the top. So I'll flip this back over. So yeah, there's a 10 keyless design. I don't have the number pad for this keyboard, but uh, this is what I got. It's 10 keyless, which I like. Comes with all the F keys, which is nice. So that about wraps up this uh, overlook of this keyboard. If you have any specific questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get to that. But uh, this is all I have to say about this keyboard. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's kind of rare, but uh, it's very nice nonetheless. I'll see you guys later.